try this is with the bandwidths and uh, some stormy weather going around. So we think it's like impeding what we're doing, but you know us, we can't stop and we will do our darndest to get the information out. Good morning, everyone. This is Carol Sawyer, AKA Naughty Boss, live from a gloomy looking New England with two. It says, hey, good morning, everyone. It's Janice, AKA Wellness Diva 5.0 on the first attempt, at, <laughs> excuse me, at the live. Uh, the tagline was, and it's raining. Well, that's a perception, right? However, there is a method to my madness. And on this tagline, um, I think I put something about router issues. She's freezing up. Okay, can you see me okay? Yeah, and you're, you, I can see you now. You're, you're freezing up a little bit, but we're going to try to get through this as best we can because we don't stop. Uh, bandwidth weather are not going to impede on us sharing about a healthy mindset and kind of getting your mindset back on track because we know it's been off track and we feel it you feel it in the air and we know you do as well how are you feeling jan i feel fantabulous although my i think she's I did, a little delayed again when i did wake up i was a little sore and stiff but you know i'm in that respectable age area where that sort of thing happens but it still doesn't stop me i may not work out with the same intensity but i did work out and i did sweat my butt off so but that's all good mindset monday so where could where do we even begin sometimes it's really hard to define with mindset where to start but i'll just start off by saying my mindset feels pretty good this morning <laughs> despite the aches and pains um update on my reading my summer reading list i've read six books i will be done with my seventh uh today so i'm real excited about that keeping that the reading momentum going and <laughs> somebody asked me well how are you getting in that much reading and it's actually a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> so what do I mean by that? Well, I think I did mention at one point, I keep a book. On my desk. Bit, there you go. Okay. I keep a book on my desk. Um, so in between something uploading or, you know, whatever, instead of doing the, you know, whoosh, whoosh, the scroll on the phone, um, I pick up my book, read. Um, unfortunately, you know, typically during the week, I'm up anywhere between three or four, even though I set my alarm for 430. I'm always up early. I don't know why that happens. It just does. So I take advantage of that and read. So that's how <coughs> I'm getting a lot of that reading in my love of reading. So let's talk about mindset. Yeah, uh, you know what I was chatting about on our first live before you uh, just about when you got bumped off. You know, how do you I, I frequently have people ask me, how do you keep your mindset on point when you're 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 an advocate for, for many issues, you're you know doing your podcast, your health and wellness, your healthy mindset, living, you know, everything that's going on in the world, how do you keep focused? And I actually took that to heart and the, my instant went to why everyone's mindset has been derailing uh, so easily. And it is because we have been over inundated with gaslighting. Now, many people actually do not even know that term. We have so many new terms. You know, the dictionary is coming up with new words every other day, right? Gaslighting uh, is a manipulation. It is a way for a uh, maybe an, someone that has a, maybe they're an activist, maybe they, they have a, a particular opinion on something, maybe they're trying to uh, convince you of something. So what they do is the opposite. Instead of really having that concrete dialogue with the, the opposing view and having good dialogue, good, respectful dialogue, they gaslight you. They make you feel bad for your position. You maybe uh, feel a little bit in bewilderment because you don't understand, you know, well, what's wrong with me? Uh, it is a, it's a form of manipulation. It's uh, a psych, I think it's almost psychological abuse where they make you feel bad for who you are, how you think, 
or a decision that you've made. And I think it is playing havoc in trying to keep a healthy mindset on the path that we want. So we often talk about in order to have a full body health and wellness mindset and lifestyle and living, it starts with your mind because you make a conscious decision that you you want to live a better life. You want to add more value. You want to impact people, but you want to take care of your health and your wellness. So your health and wellness starts with the mindset, right? But what do you do when you're being constantly derailed, constantly gaslighted everywhere you turn, whether it's on social media, whether it's uh, in person, you know, you're finding more and more people out in public that are acting a little cray cray. You know, one term that uh, really amplifies what gaslighting is, is road rage. How many people don't have the patience anymore? Or, you know, you've made a mistake, you forgot to put your blinker on, or, um, you know, you just got so aggravated. Well, now you have people, you know, really taking their own lives in their hands. And they, they flip the bird, which everyone should know what the bird is. And sadly, uh, there's been three or four instances in the last week or so where there's been fatal shootings over road rage you know they got mad they were so they start attacking you for what you did wrong or you so or if it's a, it's a, if it's a verbal emotional attack it could be because you took a stance on a, a justice and or injustice and now people are making you feel or a group is making you feel bad about yourself and manipulating you in such a way that you kind of second guess who you are should I have made that choice? Well, now I feel bad that I made that choice. Or why did I think that way? Now people are making me feel bad or blaming you for the color of your skin, maybe blaming you for what your ancestors did that you were never even part of, uh, maybe uh, making you feel bad and embarrassed to be who you are. And when you think about that, that is such negative energy you know, whether it's on the road, whether it's in person, whether it's at a meeting, whether it's on social media, that really um, nibbles away at who you are as a human being. You know, I often say that human beings uh, have a very unique quality and it's called we're redeemable. We're not born perfect. We don't, you know, uh, always uh, follow the right footsteps sometimes. Maybe we um, have a misstep or maybe, you know, we do our own good due diligence and research what we're passionate about. And yet we are still made to feel less than because it's not going with the status quo, less than because the viewpoint is different, less than because you maybe you're taking the unpopular road, less than because you're doing what's right. Life is a coin. Our mindsets are a coin. Our health and wellness is a coin. We live in a world that's a coin. And what I mean by that is there's two sides to everything. You've got lightness, you've got dark, you've got good, you've got evil, you've got um, righteousness, you have, uh, you know, just a kind of a disturbing perspective and that you just, you're so angry. You've got happy and angry. You have black, you have white, you have good, you have evil. You have race, you have racism. You have anti, or anti you have racism and anti-racism. Well, what does that all mean? Uh, yeah, in a perfect world, it would be wonderful not to have any of the bad stuff. But the bottom line is the bad stuff will always be there. You can't totally wipe it away. Would it be nice to? Absolutely. And that's where education and really having an understanding and respect for another person's perspective, even though you don't agree with it, to understand. That's how we learn from each other, right? But when you start judging people, um, and gaslighting them instead of respecting and have a little integrity that, you know what, well, maybe they just think differently because of, maybe I should find out a little bit more why they think that way than the whole making the other person feel bad. I would rather see the world try to try to just treat people the way that they would prefer to be treated. I would like people to talk to people and have that dialogue the way that you want the dialogue to be in return. Uh, and the reason why we can never wipe out racism. The reason why we can't ever wipe out bad, evil, hatred. Love eventually does win. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, but it does win. But the reason why is because we were born, I truly believe that we were born in God's image. 
And part of that is the human race is perfectly flawed. We don't all think alike. We're in, we're perfect. We're perfectly imperfect. You know, we have freedom of choice. And as long as we have that, and as long as we are always different, which we will be, you embrace different ideas, but we, you will always have a part of that piece of the yucky stuff too. So instead of making someone feel bad because they don't, they're, they're, you're trying to push them in a position that they don't want to be in the person that's being pushed push back but you can push back with confidence you push back with being postured in your belief you're not supposed to all think alike we're not supposed to but we hope that love you know wins all that goodness wins all and you fight for that don't be bullied because really gaslighting is a is a modern version of bullying of pushing someone and manipulating someone's ideas and thoughts to think and be a certain way that is not in their in the realm of thinking and why do that when you you know when i think of when someone is pushing an idea and wanting to impede on how someone thinks to me that's socialism that's communism what do you think jim it sure damn is and i'll tell you why you know there's truth in people's ability to feel what they need to feel and what they've learned and how they were brought up that is history that's part of who we are no we can't come go back to when our first <laughs> ancestors first came over we're not responsible for their actions and i think we're at a point in society where it's a fail safe in other words well this happened so this is how you know i'm going to react when it's you know preordained with all these different groups out there and just kind of a sidebar about that if you <laughs> i know i've shown this book before um and it's been hard for me to read it. and what i mean by that is it really now this was written before any of this kind of stuff started happening but it really helped me to understand where all these different things are coming um, coming from to have a better understanding <laughs> and i will freely admit that you know some things i I don't always agree. Like Carol Sue and I don't always agree. And, and I have a slightly different um, perspective on things being two-sided. Yes, they are two-sided, but there's also <coughs> one truth. Right. There can't be a truth in a non-truth. And although I am from the opinion that I would love to have an open dialogue, an open conversation with somebody that has a different opinion. I am always open to that. And, and I'm not going to get into the one thing that I am not open to. Everybody knows that already who's listened and knows me personally. But I think that just goes to show you we're so quick. <laughs> we are so quick to point a finger. But our, why are we not so quick to kind of take that moment, take a step back and breathe? and be treat others the way we would want to be treated the golden rule and i am <laughs> absolutely open to have a discussion with somebody who has a totally different opinion i'm always open to learn <laughs> not that you have to teach me or advise me but i'm always open to learn and understand and respect somebody's difference of opinion it's not my way or the highway. Only truth can be can be prevail in that regard. So take a moment, step back, take a deep breath. Everything may seem like it is effed, as Mark Manson has written in his book, fabulous book, by the way. I recommend that people do read it. <laughs> but you know, it's a great book. It's a great book. Have you read it? I've been. Re I, I just started reading some, some, some of the beginning of it, and it really, uh, it's. I'm, I'm really excited to dive into it. It's very good. You know, some of the parts that I was reading, I'm like, yeah. Hey, well, that makes sense. Why this group is doing it? Well, that makes sense. 
Not right. that I agree with it, but right. to have a better understanding, knowledge is power. The power is not taken from people, it's whittled away. And there, there, in my opinion, is a difference. There's a huge difference with that. I, I agree. And I, I think it really goes back to, I think, you know, years ago, I mean, when we were kids, the, the whole stuff was, okay, you don't talk politics, religion, like you had like certain things you just didn't talk at the dinner table. Um, that obviously has changed over time because obviously we're in social media. Uh, big tech, everything that, that's involved. And, you know, the, the growth of all that and having that healthy conversation. And I think for some, it's, you know, teetering on something they, they just don't want to go down that road. So you respect that. But if you have someone that is making you feel bad about your, your, who you are, your identity, your beliefs, your belief system, you have to, you, you hope that the dialogue can be handled in such a way with respecting the other. You don't have to agree on it. You know, that's, that's the beauty of being human. We don't all agree because if we all did, we'd be boring, number one. But number two, you know, it, some of it has to do with how you're brought up within your family, the, uh, the rituals, the belief systems. And, you know, you embrace that. They're instilled in you. But I would hope that parents would have those conversations age appropriate, whatever they are, um, to make them better around adults when they, and I think our parents did a great job of that. We were exposed to many things that uh, a lot of families were not. You know, we, uh, you know, speaking of the gay community, our parents always had gay friends. We were exposed to, the, you know, gay people at a very young age, it was normal to us. We were expo exposed, we lived in Hartford, we lived in New Haven, we lived in the city. We were exposed to all cultures, all races. We never looked at anybody other than who they were, their character. And the character was, you're either a good person or not a good person. It had nothing to do with anything else. It didn't have anything to do with their background, it had nothing to do with their belief systems, it had nothing to do with the way they looked. Uh, sexual orientation, like none of that ever came up. So I find it refreshing when I think about that, you know, the fifties and the sixties, we were exposed to that and it was just normal. And now we're, we're going, what, you know, over 50 years later, and this is where we're at, you know, gaslighting people for their beliefs, ga gaslighting people and making them feel badly about themselves because of who they are. I just think it's a it's a bad look on humanity. It's a bad look on any group or activist or, uh, you know, who's doing it. Uh, and it's not just coming from people that you know, and it's not coming from social media. It's coming from mainstream media you know, that are making people feel badly about who they are, what they look like, and decisions that they're making for themselves or their family, or the positions that they are in their local community, their state communities, and nationally. And I think it's got, to, it's, it's, it, it's hit a whole, uh, an all-time choking level. People are tired of it. You know, it, you know we, we're coming off of a very tough, tough year. So let's add fuel to the flame. And this has been going on for a very long time. Uh, the term is, is new to some people, but this has been going on for a very long time. It's a game of manipulation and making people transform into the way that they want you to think. That is communism. I don't care how you slice it, how you dice it, call it whatever word you want to call it. The meaning is still the same at the end game. You're trying to play mind games and or control someone's thinking to think the way someone else is. That is not the way we're meant to be. And there is a movement where people, uh, parents uh, in particular, grandparents in particular, children advocates in particular that are not gonna cow down. You know, it's one of those things where um, people will tolerate so much, right? You know, they'll kind of follow the, the line, toe the line so much, but put their children's mindset and their hearts in such a way 
way that is going to change the outcome of who they are as a human being, well, you're going to get some parents and grandparents and other children's advocates roar because they're not going to put up with it. And I think people are tired of being bullied. I think gaslighting is kind of the modern version of bullying to a certain degree. I mean, there is some differences in it, but it's still bullying regardless. It's trying to push somebody and make someone think and, and they needle you. They needle you by attacking your integrity. They needle you by attacking your stance, by who you are as a human being. And that's just wrong. That's one of those things that there's a line, a fixed line that you cannot, a fixed mindset that you cannot, you cannot cross. And why would someone spend so much energy in trying to manipulate someone? Instead of using that energy for good, for, you know, go help the needy, go help somebody that's got an injustice, help, you know, help volunteer in your community, and you're spending your energy on manipulation. It's mind boggling to me. It sure is, because on so many levels, it, let me just go back a minute. Um, you know, we often chat about the golden rule and the golden rule is really shadowed by the different Republicans and Democrats alike. It's not just the Republicans, it's not just the Democrats. It's what is going on in, in society is a power move to take your civil liberties away. That's just, for me, that, that's not something that I want to see happening, yet the they've infiltrated so many different areas to whittle those things away. <laughs> you know, the mixed messages that the current fake administration is sending out there as far as um, COVID-19 or whatever, it's, you know, the somebody that's fully vaccinated, such as fake 46, who is wearing a mask, nobody around him and is walking outside with a mask on. Now, granted that is his right and privilege as a citizen to make that choice for himself, but you are supposedly in a position where there's just too many mixed, um, there's too many mixed conversations or the way that they're trying to manipulate things one thing is doing this, one thing is doing that. Well, no wonder why there's, you know, people are maybe in fear. The fear has been instilled, but you know what? <laughs> the fear now has come to a head because parents are roaring, grandparents are roaring, and it's not going to stop just there. So a lot, <laughs> excuse me, obviously to cover on this Mindset Monday. Kasu, do you have anything in closing that you'd like to add? Right. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, don't let anyone intimidate you. Your, your memories, your realities, your perceptions of things. You know, if you find that you feel like someone is gaslighting you or, you know, you're watching one news channel and you feel like they're really, they're really uh, getting into your head, turn it off. You know, go do something wonderful for someone. I always say when you're feeling gloomy, when you're feeling doomy, when you feel like you're hopeless, uh, there is hope out there. Go out and do something kind for somebody. There's nothing better than changing that mindset by doing something positive and impacting someone else's life that sparks that same energy that they in turn pay it forward. That's the whole point of having a healthy mindset. So keep that in mind. Tune off, turn off, disengage if you have to. Uh, but remember a healthy mindset on, especially kind of a gloomy day, turn on some lights in your house, make your own sunshine, uh, call up an old friend, uh, you know, chat with that relative that you haven't chatted with in a while, or you know what, see, do, see what you can do in your community, get involved, uh, stay positive, regardless of what others are trying around you to kind of manipulate you, don't let them. Be because at the, the end game, they're not going to win if we are together strong in combating that. So with that, uh, we wish you a great Monday mindset. We will see you tomorrow for a Trending Tuesday, which after uh, just Triumph a quick Tuesday. shout out to, but yes, Triumph Tuesday. And I want to give a uh, quick shout out to uh, all the uh, parents, grandparents, business owners, clergy, uh, 
children advocates that will be at tonight's Dudley Charts Charlton Regional School District meeting at 7 p.m. at Shepherd Hill High School in Dudley, Massachusetts. If you don't know what's going on uh, within your school district, this is a time to get informed, to be informed, because you're there because the voices that cannot be heard are the children. With that, we will see you tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Nani Boss signing off with two... Sisters, and that's Janice, a.k.a. Wellness Diva 5.0. Make it a great one. Bye, everybody. Are you okay?